No, a fully compostable and recyclable coffee cup is being tested by major high street chains. Described as a world first, the designers hope it will prove a, a solution to the two and a half billion coffee cups we use each year, less than one percent of which are actually recycled. Sky's Becky Johnson reports now. In this laboratory in York, scientists are making plastic, but all their raw ingredients come from nature. This coffee cup and lid is currently being tested by major high street coffee chains. The plastic comes from eucalyptus. The claim, the whole thing will disappear to carbon dioxide and water within three months in a compost heap, or it can be recycled with paper. So what we've got here is a world first. It's a bio-derived coffee cup and lid. So the cup is made of paper outer and a bioplastic inner, and then the lid is made of a bioplastic taken from trees. Now both put these items together and you can put them either into the paper waste stream or they can compost in the food waste stream. They're now looking at straw as the starting material for their next plastic products. So we have our, our wheat straw which is our starting material. It's um, waste biomass that is abundantly available um, and it, within it it has certain components um, and we look to break down those components using a variety of either chemical or biological methods such as enzymes. We can pol polymerize those, which is combining more of those units together to make much larger chains. And these give us these characteristics that plastics um, have. Now that the team have made this, the next step is to fine tune this plastic product into something that can be used to make the next generation of plastic bottles. The aim is to have a material that's made fully from natural products and is fully compostable at the end of its use. But many scientists argue so-called bioplastics can make consumers complacent. The compost conditions they need to break down include temperatures of 50 to 60 degrees, soil and water, so they wouldn't decompose in landfill or seawater and aren't the solution to the growing problem of ocean waste. The conditions that you have in composting tanks are not what you have in the sea which means that really having biodegradable plastics that are meant to be composted are not uh, really going to be the, the main solution. Uh, there's no silver bullet to, to solve this problem and really uh, what we need to try to do is to stop the waste from getting into the ocean in the first place. But these scientists believe changes to the ingredients of plastics can determine how long they continue to blight our planet once we've thrown them away. Becky Johnson, Sky News, York.